Good morning, Drew with Grimstalker Forge, and I've started working on my next canister. Um, this one uh, is actually going to be six inches long, one and a half by one and a half. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm going to use white out, try to keep the can where it peels off. And I've got about 950 ball bearings. Uh, they are, you know, 7 32nd, 1 8th, 5 32nd, a quarter inch, and 3 16th. So I got a whole bunch of different sizes in there. Hopefully that's going to be give us a, give a different pattern. Um, got them soaking in acetone right now. And since I found out that the ball bearings at dark, I'm going to once again use the uh, 1085 with nickel in it. So that'll be light. So I'll get my contrast there. So stay tuned. I'll post some more uh, videos a little bit later. Have a great day. All right. It's been about 30 minutes or so since I put the white out in the uh, can. It is dry now. So now we're going to fill it up and then we're going to, you know, alternate with our 1084 with nickel and our 52100 ball bearings. Fill it up, tap it down. I'm trying not, this time I'm trying not to over tap it. Maybe that's what I did. I uh, made it settle wrong. I don't know. I'm um, still learning on this. Um, once it's filled, I'll put the cap on, weld it up. Get it in the forge. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, it's welded up. Got the stick welded on there. I don't have good luck with my welds on the stick. Of course, I'm trying to teach myself how to do a MIG welder and I'm using flux core wire. Uh, hey, I learned with an arc welder back in the 80s and the Coast Guard and their, their philosophy was bigger the blob, better the job. I know that's not true, but that's how I was taught. So I'm trying to, re trying to relearn how to weld with a big welder using flux core wire. Why? That's what I have. But it does work. I don't have any leaks. Now it goes into fire. It's going to take a while to heat it up, but I'll be back later. I'm going to figure out how to weld this stick on properly. It did make it through the second pounding, uh, second heat, but I just have yet to get that welded on good enough to last. Oh well. Back to using tongs. I don't know. Let's do it one more time. Just just because. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it does.
Whoa, look at that. Looking good so far. Second billet I've ever made came to Damascus. I still have a small crack right there, so I'm gonna add some flux and throw it back in the forge. All right. Okay, while that's heating up, here's the can. Came off in one full piece. I'm pleased with that. So the whiteout worked. Now let's see if we can turn that billet into a knife. Redneck power hammer. Still has a crack right there. Probably end up having to grind that out, but I'm still flexing it. And back in the hot. Forge, here we go. 